this problem, we are going to find all degree solution for an angle theta if theta is between 0 degree and 360 degrees or within the first revolution. The equation is in the form of 2 times cosine square x plus 11 cosine x equals negative 5. The cosine square x is the same as the quantity cosine x squared and then added by cosine x here multiplied by 11 equals negative five. The equation involving cosine function, cosine x, cosine x here, we're gonna let the notation, uh, let's see, we use notation y, okay. Let y be cosine x. The equation becomes two times y squared plus 11 times y equals negative five. We have the quadratic equation. The right-hand side is not zero. The strategy to solve the quadratic equation, the right-hand side must be zero. So we're gonna add both sides by five. Equation becomes two y squared plus 11 times y plus five equals zero. And we are going to factor completely. The first one, the 2y squared means 2y times y. 5 means 5 times 1. So we're going to put the 5 in the back here and then 1 in the front. So the outer times outer, that give us 10y. The inner and inner give us 1y. Add, the, add them together to get 11y. Check. So we have plus i here, plus i here equals 0. Use the zero product property. The first one will give us 2y plus 1 equals 0 or y equals negative one divided by two. The second equation from y plus five equals zero, or y equals negative five. We call y represented cosine of the x. We place y with the cosine x. Cosine x equals negative one half for the first one, and cosine x equals negative five for the second one. Use the unit circle to help us determine the angle theta, or the angle x, sorry. The cosine x is negative one half, which is negative inside. That means the x will be in the second quadrant and the third quadrant. The cosine x is the first coordinate. The first coordinate is negative one half, an angle in degrees will be 120 degrees. For the third quadrant, the first coordinate as negative one half at the degree angle will be 240 degrees. The first equation give us the solutions um, x equals 120 degrees and x equals 240 degrees. For the second equation, cosine is negative five. We call the cosine function, it has to be between negative one and positive one. So negative five is out of the range. That tells us no solution for the second equation. Therefore, the answer for this problem will be x equals 120 degrees and x equals 240 degrees.